Hello, here we are again. Um, I am going to show you how to use your Arduino with an infrared transmitting diode to control your TV using uh, the IR Send uh, sketch. Uh, to back up a little bit, this is actually two parts. This is the second part of the Send Receive uh, IR programming. Uh, the software you can download or you can use what comes with the uh, public domain. Uh, it's called IR Remote. Um, and I'm using the IR Send portion here. But I want to back up a little bit and show you uh, what I captured with the IR Receive using uh, the remote for the TV. Um, the code is available, it's public domain, and basically it will tell what type of um, uh, uh, transmitter or uh, remote you have, whether it's a Sony or NEC or some other type. It will give you the raw data right here, and it will also give you the actual code for, in this case, I believe that's the first button, that's the power, and these are all the different buttons. So uh, what I found out was with the transmit, all you need is this little uh, uh, portion of, of all of this information. I captured this information in another video, but fundamentally what I did is using the Arduino receive LED, IR LED, which is slightly different, I uh, captured this using Bluetooth to a file on a desktop, and I just wrote down and executed one command after another using the remote until I had captured all the buttons and the power and the volume up, volume down, mute, channel, that sort of thing. Some of these I didn't, ca I didn't capture. I didn't capture CC or any of these down here, but you could. So the most popular ones I use are right here. And all we really need out of all this code is this little portion right here. So you take each one of those pieces here and here and here and so on, all the way down, and you write, uh, not from there, from there. Uh, in the code, you take that, that, that information, and you can, uh, uh, like I said, there's already a send program that you, that's, comes with the Arduino, I believe. You can modify it and put in a case statement. And what I do is write, uh, I'm using note, pad plus plus here because it makes the code real simple. Basically, this is the only code. You, you initialize the serial port and then you check to see if there's a character um, in the serial port itself. Check for an input character and then you read that character if there is uh, via the keyboard. And so what I've done is uh, A through Z I've assigned uh, different functions on the TV. So if we look here here is the case statement. You, you read the value here. The switch value here will come in either as an A, a B, a C, a D. And so for the letter A, if I type A using our serial port, that should be the power to turn this on. And that will be transmitted via the LED, the IR LED uh, transmitting diode. There's a receiving diode and transmitting. Make sure you don't get them mixed up. So let's see what happens. If I hit the letter A and hit enter, it should go through the serial and then turns it on, which it did. And I actually had it come back with a, the word power. Now, let's say we want to mute. We could hit the letter N enter and the word mute comes up and it also displays on the TV what 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 happened so basically the case statement can be as long as you want it um, it can you can have multiple uh, characters whatever you want for instance if you want to do volume up let's say L will turn it on but multiple L's will increase it so one turns it on and then you'll notice that this is slightly changing. And it's also noting it here on the screen. And same with volume down. 
which would be the letter M. You put a bunch of them in. And then there you go. You can see it's changing here at the volume and it's also noting it here. So fundamentally, that's the second half of this um, program. What I will do is I will, um, uh, let's actually turn off the TV, hit the letter A, TV is off. So that works very simply and the code for this portion of it is very simple, much easier than the receive portion. But once you combine those together, you can have a, a receive and then a send and, and work it any way you want. What I will do is I will get a close up here of the screen so that you can see the code because I don't have a website, but it's real simple um, case statement. Um, something that is important, and I'll show that on the Arduino board, there's some hardware that you need to know also. So here we have the hardware for the infrared transmit portion of controlling your TV. Um, this is a different diode than the receive diode, so make sure you, you order two and not one like I did. Um, I do have it hooked up to plus five volts, and I do have it hooked up to pin number three, which in order to use the software that I'm going to show you, the default software does use pin three on the Uno. I believe you can remap it, but I didn't choose to. I didn't think it was necessary. Um, Another thing is, the very first diode I had, I inadvertently connected the plus and the minus straight to the power, uh, 5 volts, and wound up burning up the diode. So don't do that. Uh, also, uh, what you're going to need is to hook up uh, a 1K resistor, a 1K ohm resistor, um, for the diode um, on, the, uh, on the plus side. I didn't have a 1K, so I used three 300 ohm, which gives me 900 ohms, almost 1K of resistance, and that, that seemed to work fine. And they're in serial, one after the other after the other. Don't hook it up in parallel. So you can kind of make do. It's not in a hardcore science. I've seen uh, on the web that some people only use one 300K. I didn't want to take a chance because I didn't want to buy another one of these little deals. They take a long time to come from China. So, um, but this all works very simply. The hardware is very inexpensive. Um, the last thing is when you buy the transmit diode, sometimes it comes in this little package and it actually has three pins here. You can see the little metal pin here in the center. I attempted to hook that up initially also because I didn't know. Well, that doesn't go to anything. So don't hook up the middle one. It's not necessary. So here's a portion of the code for sending TV remote uh, instructions to the Arduino. And it's really very simple. I wasn't sure when I started what you needed to use, but it turns out that all you need is that little 16 or 32-bit code that describes each of the key functions that I showed you in the previous portion of this video. So you uh, include this IR remote um, library. Um, there isn't really a whole lot of setup other than the serial setup. Uh, in the void loop, you just keep checking for a key from the keyboard. You, once you get a keyboard value, you assign it to the value. You check that input in this case statement here to see which if it's a letter A or B or a C. Once you find a letter that you need, um, I actually went all the way down to, it looks like I inputted quite a few, so it's a large case statement, all the way down to, it looks like W, I almost used up the whole alphabet, and then that was the end of my case right here, I break and I, I finish. But each of these, the exit, the OK, the return, the arrow right, arrow down, they all are you send only this amount of information and you specify it whether it's send NEC or send Sony or send RAW, whatever you want to use. And then in parentheses, give it the, the code for, for whatever function is. In this case, this is a NEC arrow left. An arrow left would be 
this button right there. And then you, you give it the number of bits, which is 32, that's standard uh, for the NEC. And it's the same thing, it's the same case uh, test all the way down, except we just change the codes that are here. And um, uh, that basically allows you to control your TV from your computer. Well, I hope that this video was helpful for you. Please leave a comment or share this video with others. Um, if you have any suggestions or anything, I would really appreciate it in your comment. Otherwise, enjoy the other videos and thank you for watching.